Hey guys, I wanted to make a video on advocating for your dog and why it's so important. I know I harp on about this a lot, but it's super important, especially when you're at the stage of proofing your dogs around lots of different distractions, lots of environmentals, and I know how tempting it can be to want to put your dogs in all these new environments around different kids and dogs and people and things like that and see how they go. But it's super important to remember to advocate for your dog. So all the work that you're doing indoors and in low distraction environments still makes sense and still translates to outdoors. And for many dogs, as soon as you move outdoors, they tend to get really excited, sometimes really anxious or fearful as well. So you need to let them know that you know, there's a bubble around you. No one will be able to, you know, come through that. You will advocate for them if another dog starts running over or people try and ask to pat them, things like that. Even if your dog is really social or friendly, you still want to teach your dog that outside in the real world, you know, all they need to focus on is you. And that's super important for creating a dog that's got a calm state of mind. We can't, ex we can't expect our dogs to be really calm, but then also allow all these people to come in and pat them and have dogs on the end of their line approaching them and to have us not advocate for them. So it's really important as you're proofing your dogs to remember that as you're making your way through all these different environments that you'll still teach your dogs. If someone approaches, I'll move over to the side, put you in a seat, seated position, I'll put myself in between you so that you don't feel like you've got to make any decisions about that person or about that dog. And it's always going to be a positive experience that way. So it's never going to be left up to chance. And that's really important because I know even when I walk my dogs, I'll still, if there's a dog on a long line coming towards us, I'll just move off the footpath and put them in a seated position. I'm not interested in having to make, you know, that interaction where I've got to weasel my way through. I'll still move our dogs off. It's always positive because their dog's able to walk by. My guys are calm next to me and no one's expected to have a guess as to what's going to happen. And that's really important, I think, on, the, on your dog's side of things where they know to trust you. They know that you will advocate for them and won't put them in a situation that might make them anxious or even overexcited. And it's a win-win for all then. So I think it's really important to teach your dogs that there's a bubble around you in public, you know, that no one's going to approach you. No one's going to um, expect something from, from them. All they need to do is pay attention to you and you'll see some pretty great mind shifts start to happen with your dogs where inside, you know, someone might knock on the door or a bird might fly by or different distractions might happen in the house and your dog will start turning to you for guidance and for support as opposed to thinking, oh, how am I going to respond to that right now? How am I going to act on my impulse in this moment? They'll start to go, oh, well, I've always had to look to you for guidance, so why would this be any different? So I hope this helps you. It's just a quick other video on advocating for your dog and why it's so important. I hope you're all having a great weekend and I'll chat to you all soon. Bye.